okay so we have gone through selection sort now we will go for bubble sorts the next sorting algorithm so modify the selection sort code to bubble sort code bubble sort okay So for the bubble sort out of the same code we will do the we will uh, enter the size so size is n we read the size and recreated the array and elements is being created. So in the case of bubble sorts, what is the difference is that so we have the elements 14, 13, 2 and 1. Okay, we we'll take the elements. So what the difference between bubble sort and selection sort is that in the case of the uh, selection sort we will take the position and we will try to correct that here we will not do like that we will sell uh, take uh, we will check the elements uh, nearby that means uh, neighbor elements will be checked out so that means 14 will be checked with 13 so what happens is this is from 13 and this is from 14 and this become 2 and this become 1 now 14 will be checked with 2 so what happens is, is this become 13 and this become 2 and this become 14 and this become 1 okay now 14 will be checked with 1 again what happens is if this, third, this become 13 this become 1 this become 1 and this become 4 okay again we will do this again again 13 will be checked with 2 so what happens is this is to this 2 is being pushed out here pushed to this position and this become 1 this become 4 now 13 will be compared with 1 so again modification we have to do 2 1 13 and 14 and 13 will be compared with 14 no changes there okay again we will restart this uh, 2 will be compared with 1 so 1 it, it, will, it will be 1 and this become 2 this become 13 this become 14 now 2 will be compared with 13, no change, 13 will be compared with 14, no change. Again we will start the same process, we will again go, go we will come to the first position and we will do the same thing. 1 will be compared with 2, 2 will be compared with 13, 13 will be compared with 14. Now we can stop. So uh, if we have uh, 4 elements out there, maximum we want to do 4 times. We repeat it four times the elements will be sorted that's the concept of bubble sort okay but there is an advantage here suppose i will take a sorted list i will take a sorted list so suppose the elements is like this one two three four so what happens is the one is will be compared with two two will be compared with three three will be compared with four now we get, got an information that there is no change. That means the list is sorted. So now at this point we can stop that. That's the advantage of bubble sort. Okay, we have got the information that this position, this uh, element, this list is sorted. Okay, take the case of selection sorts, the same code. 1 will be compared with 2, no change. 1 will be compared with 3, no change. 1 will be compared with 4, no change. Now we got only the information that this first position is being corrected. Now we will again have to come to the second position and second position will be compared with 3, second position will be compared with 4. Now we understood that okay, this is the correct position of second. Again we will come to the third position. Third will be compared with 4. And what we find is that there is no change. Now we can stop. So even for a uh, sorted list, we have to do this process in selection sort. But in the case of bubble sort, as we are comparing the neighbors nearby elements, we can get this information. If there is no swapping, the list is sorted. So we can stop there. So that should be, that we will add in our code. So the same thing, what we have to do? 
here the concept is very simple first position should be compared with second position the second position should be compared with third position third position should be compared with fourth position it should go like that and this should be repeated up to four times this process should be repeated up to maximum up to four times up to n so for that i have to write a code so initial loop i'm going to write is for repetition for this code i have to repeat up to four times okay so i'm going to use this initial for loop for that i equal to zero i is less than up to n it should go i plus plus that means this loop will repeat four times zero one two and three if it is four four times it will repeat so this loop is for repetition now this loop inner loop this loop what they have to do for each step i have to compare with the neighbors one should be compared with two two will be compared with three three will be compared with four okay so i have to do that so that means initially i have to start from zero so i have to start from zero should start from zero up to zero one one two two three so up to two it has it should go up to two it should go we don't want to go up to the last last element should not be checked so that means it should go up to n minus one okay that means for this case zero one one two two three if it reaches two then we can stop not enough going up to the third position so this is the, these are the two loops now what i have to check i already said this loop is for repetition the checking will be done by the inner loop itself okay what i have to check i have to compare one should be compared with two two will be compared with three like that i have to go so for that i will use a j and j plus plus j plus one j plus one. so initially j will be zero and j plus one will be one then it will become one and two then two and three it will stop so that's the thing i have to do j then j j should be j will have j plus one value and j plus one will have the term the same thing but here the code is been repeated okay but i will i have i have information i will take this example 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 this is my element already list is sorted one will be so i will start from here i equal to 0 okay j will be again 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 up to 3 this will loop will go what i find is that throughout the loop it is not entering this this if condition if condition is be not working if because uh, that means the list is sorted so i got that information so i have to use that information how to use that is i will create a flag value here flag is just an indicator okay i will put zero here okay so flag will be set flag is there whenever for each iteration i will set flag to zero flag is zero or i will set it as flag equal to one flag i if for each iteration flag will be one so for this case flag will be one initially so one will be compared with two two will be compared with three three will be compared with four If there is no change, if there is a change, means it should enter to this loop if condition. If it is entering in this condition, flag will be set as zero. Okay. Now let's see this example. One, two, three, four. So one will be compared with two, two will be compared with three, and three will be compared with four. This four loop will end. What is the value of flag? Flag is one. because this it is not entered in this this uh, if condition okay the flag value is 1 now so that means the list is already sorted so that that means i don't want to repeat it again 
take this case 14 and 13 14 and 13 so this case its flag value will be zero because 14 is greater than 13 so we have to perform the swapping so that means flag value will be zero again if flag value is zero we have to repeat it so what i will do is that i will check before the repetitive board this this is a repetition board we already discussed this for loop is for repeating repeating the process and this is the actual sorting code okay so what we will do is that before repetition i will check what's the flag value flag value if flag value is one then i can simply stop using that break if i write the break what happens is that it will come out of the loop so if you write like this if you uh, if you give a sorted list this algorithm will work faster than selection sort okay but we have to write this break condition here okay so if you are in uh, so this option is there in bubble sort if you are using this uh, this option bubble sort will work better than selection sort if the list is sorted because it will, it will terminate within uh, not time but in selection sort we have we don't have that option so we just run this code so i have the loop is there this is the problem exc so best comments and one two three four so I will be that 1, 2, 3, 4, I will give another list, 4 elements, 14, 13, 2, 10. so list will be 2, 10, 13, 14. So the concept is very clear, I think. So this is the difference between bubble sort and selection sort. Thank you.